Hi and welcome to BioCare TV. This edition is devoted to presenting the measuring instructions for a Legacist below knee garment when a shelf is present. We start by marking the landmarks on the patient's leg, which include the top of the garment, the bottom of the garment, and a zero point for the circumference measurements locations. First, wrap the measuring tape around the leg with a top edge positioned where the top of the garment will end. Do not pull the tape tight, just apply light tension to hold it against the skin. Make a mark along the top edge of the tape at the anterior, which is the front, posterior, which is the back, medial, which is the inside, and lateral, which is the outside aspects of the leg, and record the circumference on the measuring form line titled, Bottom of Patella. In this video, we are marking the top right at the knee crease, but you may wish to leave approximately one centimeter between the top of the garment and the knee crease at the back of the leg for patient comfort. Next, wrap the measuring tape around the ankle with the bottom edge of the tape positioned where the bottom of the garment will end. Again, do not pull the tape too tight. Make a mark along the bottom edge of the tape at the anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral aspects of the leg where possible. Otherwise, mark the leg where you would like the bottom edge of the garment to end. Be sure to record the circumference on the measuring form line titled ankle. Next, wrap the measuring tape around the leg at the lowest point possible to obtain a good circumference measurement. Since this will be the last circumference measurement before the ankle, it is important that it is not too high. Make sure the tape is held parallel to the floor as this is the zero point reference line for all future measurements. Make a mark along the edge of the tape at the anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral aspects of the leg and record the circumference on the measuring form line titled zero point. Now that we have established the landmarks for the garment, we need to locate the circumference measurement positions on the lateral aspect of the leg, which is the outer side of the leg. Starting at the zero point on the lateral aspect, make a mark every five centimeters moving up the leg until you reach the bottom of patella. In this example, we stop at 25 centimeters because the 30 centimeter line would fall above the mark we made for the top of the garment. Measure up from the zero point on the front aspect of the leg to the respective mark you made for the top of the garment and record this measurement on the measuring form line titled A, anterior length, in the above zero column. Then measure down from the zero point on the front aspect of the leg to the mark you made for the bottom of the garment and record this measurement on the measuring form line titled A1, anterior length, in the below zero column. If you are not able to make a mark, Read the tape where you want the bottom of the garment to end and record this length. Please note that if the garment is too long, it will apply pressure to the top of the foot when it is flexed and cause pain. Repeat the process on the medial, posterior, and lateral lengths of the leg and record the above zero and below zero length measurements on their respective lines. The above zero measurements are recorded on the lines labeled B, C, and D while the below zero measurements are recorded on the lines labeled B1, C1, and D1. The final step is to measure the leg circumference at each of the locations that you marked on the lateral aspect of the leg. Since the circumference measurements were previously recorded at the ankle and the zero point, the first circumference measurement is at the mark five centimeters above zero. Hold the tape lightly against the skin when taking the measurement and record the value on the line labeled 5 cm in the circumference column. Repeat the process at each location mark and record the values in their respective lines in the circumference column. 
You will not have to take a circumference measurement at the very top of the garment as this was recorded in the first step of the measurement process. We have now completed the measuring process. Please review the measuring form to make sure all of the required measurements have been recorded. When reviewing the circumference measurements, remember that they are taken at locations along the lateral aspect. With this garment, since the lateral length, D, is at 28.5 centimeters, we do not expect to see a value on the lines labeled 30 centimeters and 35 centimeters. In the same way, circumference measurements are required on every line up through 25 centimeters, or measurements would be missing. Moving to the foot, position the zero of the tape measure at the back of the heel. Measure the length to the first metatarsal head, or to the desired length of the boot, and record the value on line K. Measure top of the foot from the third metatarsal head to the ankle bend, and record this length on line M. Next, encircle the tape measure around the heel and the ankle bend and record the circumference on line I. Finally, measure the circumference around the metatarsal heads and record the value on line J. Thanks for joining us for this edition of BioCare TV. If you have further questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call or visit our website at biocare.com.